pipes in there, I bet it'll get stuck in there. That little punk. So cute. Well, this little rat is probably scared out of his mind. Hey. Can't tell. That's a boy or a girl. Okay, I made a nice little habitat. I have a Tupperware. Just for tonight. So this guy and this one down here are two. And these are three total. So we're gonna go back to the spot and we're gonna reunite the family. I don't know if they really are a family or if they even would get along. But that's the closest place. The place I took the first guy is the closest place where I know that it's a wild natural environment and they're not going to wander onto someone else's property and get poisoned. Oh, You're scared of me, huh? But I just want to say something about this trap. It works incredibly well for a bigger creature. I have a smaller one, but this one works great. You just uh, put this lever down, attach this little thing, and when they go over the platform, it springs closed quickly, uh, and they won't hurt themselves. The only danger would be if they hurt themselves freaking out in there, which is why you want to be nice to them and, and get them to where you're going to take them quickly. So that's what I'm going to do now. A nice drive out into the desert. All right, come on, let's go. Got the AC blasting. I'll put a link in the description to this trap. You know, this is something we all have to deal with from time to time. And please, you know, consider these animals, especially when you're trapping wild animals in their environment. Try to be humane. Here's the second one. The second one had a nest, had a good night in the hotel Costa Scotti. Hello. Come on. I know. You look pretty comfortable. Come on. Oh. <laughs> this is not one I need. Come on. Come on. Go on, that's your new home. You want the apple? I can't let you like, find it, but look at that. The rest of the apple. There you go. Nice and cool. Okay. It's a hot one today. It's about 100 degrees. So, I'm gonna get back down the hill, get back to my babies, make sure everybody's nice and cool. When I left, the swamp cooler was kicking uh, and it was like 75 degrees in the animal room. You know, actually, I can check in on, on them right now. I've got my 
my Wi-Fi camera. Let's check in on him. Oh, look at baby, he's sleeping. Looks like it's a nice, breezy 76 degrees in the animal room. Perfect. Well, I knew that being out in the desert meant there'd be all sorts of critters in and out of the house that I would have to contend with. Uh, I thought it was gonna be more of the small kangaroo rats, um, but I'll just have to make it a routine. Um, and of course, as some of the commenters have said, sealing up the, um, the house isn't a, a bad idea. outside. The only reason why I trapped the one rat outside in the garden was because I thought that was the same one that was in the house. And it very well may have been. But now all three rats, all three desert wood rats are back together up here in the rocks. So maybe I can get some work done. Instead of focusing on all these rats. Well, it's been a couple days still, and look. I'm not saying they're back, but there are more. Um, and for those of you that are asking me about my fleece flipper video, this is the station where I would be sewing the fleece. Remember, I just moved in, and... <sighs> so... For those of you that are like, where's the fleece video, or I don't want to miss the fleece video, or how come you haven't done the fleece video, it's because this room is a total mess, and uh, it's been stagnant for years, so bear with me while I clean it. Alright, the struggle continues. <laughs> 